Welcome to the first part of Advanced Financial Econometrics Forecasting. Here, we're going to discuss some methods that were recently used in a competition known as the M4 Forecasting Competition. The fourth M competition was held in 2018. The three others were held in 1982, 1993, and 2000. The competition asked forecasters to forecast 100,000 different time series. These time series came from many fields, industry, micro and macroeconomics, finance, and demographics. They also spanned a wide range of frequencies between hourly, daily, all the way up through yearly. In total, there were 48,000 monthly series alone. The forecasting competition produced a number of conclusions, some of which were surprising. First, single methods performed poor and poorly. Combination was really seen to be the key. Second, machine learning methods on their own performed especially poorly. However, the very best methods did combine a method for machine learning with a set of reasonable traditional statistical models in combination. The goals of the course are to introduce a subset of models that were used in the competition. First, we'll extend our understanding of ARMA models to a broader class known as SEREMA, Seasonal Autoregressive Integrated Moving Average. This class of models integrates time trends, seasonal dummies, seasonal autoregressive and moving average components, as well as differencing into a unified framework. Next, we'll take a look at additive exponential smoothing models. These models are popular for two reasons. First, they're extremely simple to use, estimate, and forecast from. Second, they're very adaptive in the sense the forecasts they produce are random walks, and this includes random walk trends and random walk seasonalities, which can be particularly useful when series are unstable. The third method is known as the theta forecasting method. This is actually a combination of two other methods and was successful in the M3 competition. The final is a new method that was introduced for the M4 known as CARD. This is also a combination of relatively simple models, although it has some unique insights and introduces a novel method. We'll focus on the choices needed to implement these models rather than on any underlying theory. The assignment will then apply these methods to a small subset of the M4 monthly data. The course will be structured in three parts. First, We'll have an online presentation of background material. You're watching the introduction of this now. Next, we'll have an interactive presentation where we show the application of the models and talk about various choices. Finally, we'll have a per group tutorial session where we can talk about the models, their implementation, and any other issues you may be having. These will be scheduled at a time that's mutually convenient.